The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, hey, it's good. Hi, How are you guys doing? Doing great. Right. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the run of I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044. Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Good morning. I'm Nico DeHaan. Welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced, natural, wild world. So we can recover our natural health, our regain our freedoms and our rights. Yes, indeed. And it's a beautiful morning in downtown Clearwater. It's uh, kind of strange. You know, our apps were saying 93 <laughs> And, and both the weather apps were saying 93, and it's actually 73. So. Something's going on kind of geologically. I've I had some so. trouble this with my phone. Maybe it's that sun you've been teaching us about. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that a little later. But uh, you sent me this wonderful article about the dangers of supplementing vitamin D without vitamin K2. And we've often mentioned that uh, vitamin D is the catalyst for calcium to be active going into the bones. But vitamin K2 is the nutrient that tells the calcium to stay in the right place. I see. To behave. Uh -huh. See, we don't want to be calcified, do we? We don't want right. cataracts, right. bone spurs, mm -hmm. or calcified arteries. Mm -hmm. So, you know, most people are familiar that, that it's important to get vitamin D, but it's, um, you know, the problem is it's just that there's not uh, as, as um, liberal amount of vitamin K2 in our diet. We have to seek it out in certain places. Right. So the fat-soluble vitamins, D, K2, and A, all work together synergistically. So when you get too much of one, say vitamin D, and not enough of the other, uh, it can pose some problems. So I think what we should do is kind of give some people some outlines because I think everyone is being handed that prescription from their doctor. Usually the vitamin D that they're getting from their doctors mm -hmm. is not a form that's easily absorbed. Are you aware of that? It's vitamin D2. It's You've been usually teaching in, me about that. It's yeah. usually really a high uh, pharmaceutical synthetic form of vitamin D2. It's not what I would choose. If I were choosing, I would choose to get it from the sun. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the best way. That's the best way. You're and getting it at the top of your head, which mm -hmm. is comes into the acupuncture meridians at the meeting of the Thousand Rivers, which mm -hmm. is GV20, the very top point on your head, mm -hmm. right there. Right there. And then, um, you know, using good common sense not to burn your skin, but we right. are solar activated beings. And then I would look for ways to see, you know, ask yourself the question, are you getting these other really critical fat soluble vitamins. Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing to me that uh, you know, we think that just by taking a vitamin D capsule we we're, we're going to solve the problems and I think uh, history has kind of shown us that's not the way because uh, and especially in women uh, they're talking more about men these days as as in the past, but we've always been taught that as women age they uh, are less susceptible to absorb the calcium. And that may not be because of age. It may be just that we're not getting enough sun. We're shut indoors all the time, and we're actually hiding from the sun many times. I think you're right, Nico. You know, so a lot of people want to know, um, you know, how can they make sure, you know, what are some of the sources of vitamin K2 so that we can get this vitamin D in the form that we need it. Right, from the get food Get it from the about. sun, right. but to supplement it with the food, let's mm -hmm. create a synergy. Right. You know, where the, do you know what the most um, potent source of vitamin K2 is? Well, I think maybe uh, Gouda cheese. Well, that's our second. Oh, that's I mean, the second. well, okay. it's somewhere in there. Uh, that's the one that I call the most palatable. Okay. But it's actually a stinky type cheese, a fermented oh, the bean. Then the NATO. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, and it's a fermented. But see, that's the whole thing. It's a f these beans, even soybean type products that are fermented. Mm -hmm. That's where we've t gone wrong in this country. Everyone's running around. They're looking at soy oil, soy milk, soy cheese. That's not the way that um, the cultures that have these long lives have eaten their soy products. Right. They, it's the fermented soy. Uh, tempeh and miso are okay. They're fermented. Mm -hmm. But tofu and even these edamame beans in our country, they're mostly genetically modified. But getting back to a great source of vitamin K2, um, 
it would be natto. And my favorite to kind of help people integrate a real food is the Gouda trees, raw Gouda cheese that's been aged, 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 as Dr. Cohen, our friend, mm -hmm. says. You yeah. know, if you're going to have cheese, it needs to be aged. So that means that the, uh, the little microorganisms have helped break down the yeah. lactose and makes it more digestible. Yeah. It's not an overnight American processed cheese food. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, of We're course, not talking about that. Me uh, being uh, born in Holland, yes, uh, you know the... I know all about che the uh, cheeses and the different season in Holland of cheeses where in the springtime you get the young goudas and as you go through the year you start getting the older goudas, ones that have been aged years and years and years and they all have a distinctive different taste. It's an amazing, amazing... It's an art in itself, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a type of cheddar cheese. Right. It's a very mild type of cheddar, but I've often, you know, I'm snacking at night as a kid on the, on this type of stuff. So uh, I'm very familiar with the good so, cheese. You know, one of the things that I think might be a good idea, too, mm -hmm. is to clarify to our listeners, you know, what is the difference between K1 and K2? Because yeah, they really okay. are different. You know, what we're talking about is K2, uh, metaquinone. Um, uh, that is the K2 that we're talking about that really helps... You know, I like to look at the expression of people's face when I suggest eating the Gouda cheese. It might clear out their arteries. Mm -hmm. So what do I mean by that? I mean that we know that calcification is what is really clogging the arteries. Right. And if you're eating your Gouda cheese, then the cal calcium excess or adequate amount is going to get into the soft tissues. It's going to go back into the bones and not hang out in our arteries causing havoc. Mm -hmm. But K1 is philoquinone, which was discovered in the late 1920s. <coughs> Think of K1 as your leafy green vegetables. Uh, it was named vitamin K after the German term coagulation, mm -hmm. okay, with a K, um, because it's a critical factor in blood clotting. Um, and it's recycled in the body, and it's easy to obtain in the diet because of greens and so forth. Um, so it's really nearly impossible to do deficient K1. You've heard of people who are on like that um, rat poison called Coumadin, that yes. pharmaceutical, which is mm -hmm. actually rat poisoning. Um, the Coumadin uh, coagulation, Coumadin, um, that's why they're told they can't have leafy green vegetables. Doesn't that seem silly? Yeah. So you're on a synthetic rat poisoning drug to thin your blood, but you're not supposed to have leafy green vegetables. Which uh, do the same thing. Well, the leafy or green similar. vegetables make sure we don't bleed to death right. as you get older, but it's just sort of a kind of a crazy crazy yeah. situation. It says on here humans do have the ability to convert K1 into K2, but the rate of conversion efficient. is not efficient at all. Yeah. Yeah. So it's better just to go for the K2. So so just to kind of, you know, hit a few more highlights, let's go over a list of foods high in K2 for okay. the listeners and then let's also talk about some of the other benefits of K2 all maybe right. first. You know, it plays a preventative role, evidence-based in preventions of cancers including prostate, mm -hmm. liver, lung. Um it helps improve insulin sensitivity. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why dairy products, you know, can be uh, a good, if, as long as you're getting the properly prepared dairy products, can yeah. be really important in keeping your weight yeah, down. Yeah, another thing here, that, which is interesting, it says K2 prevents cells from behaving badly by inhibiting cells from growing wildly out of control, hence the uh, prevention of cancer uh, in the prostate and the colon and the liver and the lungs. Exactly, so cool. it helps cells well, we behave. we got a break coming up here, yeah. so... Uh, uh, folks, please stick around, pick up some Primal Edge, uh, pick up our Health Signals newsletter, or we might discuss one today. Uh, we've got a new one out, and the number here is 877-927-6648. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. morning glories what to do what to do how to get your vitamin k2 yeah so let's continue with this uh, you know it says here that k2 improves insulin sensitivity which is important for those who have uh, diabetes and are at risk for diabetes of course it seems like everybody in the united states is kind of a risk for diabetes now oh yeah so you know so. another uh, thing that might be uh, something to know is that it can really help prevent uh, varicose veins so again you know, when the veins are damaged because of oxidation and calcium's mm -hmm. making them hard, they can break. And now I um, see mostly varicose veins, maybe it's because women are more concerned about it, but I see it mostly in the news about women having them. Do men get that too? Well, I'll tell you why. I think that you see it, again, it's a little bit of a hormonal issue. Okay. You know, estrogen um, is a hormone that I think makes the vascular system when it starts to drop mm -hmm. in menopause you start or at, out of balance mm -hmm. that's when you might see varicose yeah. veins uh, so that estrogen level kind of drops and gets out of balance yeah. but okay. uh, you know it kind of makes sense about preventing varicose veins when you think about k2's role in preventing calcium mm -hmm. from calcifying you know in the veins yeah and it can also improve dental health yeah that's kind of uh, made me a flip in my mind well you know it's uh you know it's probably also it's play with phosphorus. We know that uh, those of us that kind of follow West, Western Price stuff mm -hmm, know that yeah. have your children chew on a little bit of real hard aged Parmesan cheese with high, high phosphorus content, okay. good for the teeth. It, it's, uh, I, I, you know, I found this astounding. So the body really do, does know what to do where it yeah. does it. So that's pretty amazing. How about and, this next one? Yeah, this is defic the deficiency uh, decreases uh, the testosterone production. Well, it doesn't decrease it. Deficiency decreases, decreases the yeah. testosterone. So the, so the less you, you have, the worse you are, off you are. Correct. Yeah, it doesn't produce it. So, you know, that's a good for both men and female, yeah. you know. Um, it also may play a role in brain health and the prevention of Alzheimer's. Which so. is really pro prevalent in our society. So uh, I, I really do <laughs> think that is a part of it and also part of the omega-3 whole thing mm -hmm. that we're not getting enough of. And, you know, I always talk about beauty being an inside job. Yeah. yeah. That it's really important for us to get our nutrition on the inside for it to express itself on the outside. And, you know, excessive wrinkling of the skin, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with low bone density kind of all go together in the postmenopausal woman. 
Um, and, you know, we've just learned that a low intake of vitamin K2 is associated with low bone density. Okay. Um, so vitamin K2 deficiency may be associated with a wrinkled skin. Yeah. So where is it found? It's found in fermented foods and animal products. Grass-fed animal products are much higher in vitamin K2. One of the reasons we always stress that mm -hmm. compared to the grain-fed uh, ones. Correct. And, uh, of Correct. course, they're fed on their natural source of uh, grass, which makes it really a higher intake of K1 than the grain fed and uh, which results in pr products that are much richer in K2 because of the conversion, right? Mm -hmm. You know, one of the other top foods, you know, is, yeah. I was drawing a blank, it's goose liver. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that on here and uh, boy, I love goose liver. Mm -hmm. That's uh, really good. Hard cheeses, soft cheeses, free range, uh, egg yolks. Mm -hmm. What else and is And butter that? from grass fed cows okay. and, you know, uh, sauerkraut was kind of an interesting one, but again, it's those probiotics that are actually active in cheese products are mm -hmm. also helping to break that down and produce yeah. it. And then it says here chicken breast or leg, which is kind of confusing to me because the chicken breast is much different than a leg. That's such a low, I mean, when you look at it, nine micrograms right, as opposed to 1100, to, but it's kind right. of giving you a scale. Okay, and then sauerkraut uh, has even less, but it does have some in there. So really look for getting your K2, as we always say, get all your nutrition from your whole foods, but it's kind of hard because even all of our foods, yeah, you so know, how we, much should we, we don't we have it. Well, what we want to do uh, with this article, says, and I really agree with this, is we want to make sure it's kind of in a ratio, okay. a, uh, a symphony or synchronicity with the other fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin D, vitamin A. Dr. Kate Remeblou, who literally wrote the book on vitamin K2, mm -hmm. um, recommends taking equal amounts with 100 micrograms of vitamin K2 uh, or 1,000 micrograms of, um, now see, there's two forms of vitamin K2. There's MK7 and MK4. What's the difference? Well, one's naturally produced in foods or in the environment. The other okay. one is synthetic produced, but has the same, it's kind of like bioidentical, if you would. Okay. Um, so based on which one you get, um, you know, you'll need to take more than the other. But the most recent clinical studies say, say using 180 micrograms per day for bone health, 360 micrograms daily for arterial calcification. Okay. So one of the great ways to do it is eat yourself a little piece of Gouda cheese, that little cocktail hour thing mm -hmm. that I've talked to yeah. people about. I mean, it's about, you know, a little block of cheese, about an inch by an yeah. inch. You know, you're getting probably, you know, close to a third or half of your... Then put a little goose liver on top of it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you Maybe go. some a of these A glass of wine, I think you're all, all set then. Yeah, exactly. Yep. <clears throat> so uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's always, uh, let's see, it says here, talk to your medical care provider before supplementing. I think mm -hmm. that's always wise. Mm -hmm. uh, you can certainly talk to patients. Well, that, well that's, that's if they're on drugs and so forth, I think. Because there Most, are some counterindications with certain drugs? Yeah. I, well, I mean, there could be. Um, like statins, maybe, or something like that? Well, you know, those that are taking Coumadin. Okay. Uh, you know, these are drugs that prevent clotting by creating a vitamin K deficiency in uh -huh. the blood. I mean, isn't that... Kind of a shame, but you know, there's other blood thinners, folks, such as um, you know, there's some other drugs. I don't even know the names of it: Plavix, Pratidaxa, Efficient, um, Aspirin, or Fish Oil thin the blood through other mechanisms that are not related to vitamin K synthesis. So, you know, you know, you might want to discuss with your uh, nutritionally <laughs> literate physician. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what are the options if you're wanting to thin my blood? Could I get off the rat poison, and maybe could I? exercise, could I take fermented garlic, could I take, uh, you know, healthy fish oils mm -hmm. and accomplish that same blood thinning, maybe in a better, safer way, yeah. and not be get, forcing yourself to have to have a K, vitamin K deficiency. Yeah. Now, what about uh, people who are maybe a ve vegan, vegan or maybe a vegetarian? Well, the natokinase, uh, the, uh, not, excuse me, not the natokinase, the natokinase is another enzyme, but the natto, the yeah. fermented natto is one way that a lot of vegans get it. And so they can get a really great source, mm -hmm. actually. Um, it's not particularly appetizing. You're right, I know it stinks to high heaven, for sure. Now through my Qigong group, we mm -hmm. have a group, um, uh, healingfoods.com has a fermented natto powder that you can put a teaspoon and you know, start your day with your mm -hmm. vitamin K2. That's a really good way to do it. Yeah, work. of course. But I actually enjoy Gouda cheese. Yeah, yeah, well, I do too. And then, yeah. of course, you can get it from some greens and sauerkraut and things. Smaller forms, so you have to eat a lot more. But, uh, you know, I think the best source still is from animal food, it seems like. So. And I like people to realize that, uh, you know, vitamin K2 is a heart healthy vitamin. And a yeah. lot of our fat soluble vitamins are the vitamin E, vitamin A, the vitamin D, the vitamin K. And I, mean, I remember when we uh, were formulating the Primal Edge, 
that you were very insistent on the type of vitamin K that was going to go yes, in there. Yes, I, I was very insistent that we have vitamin yeah, K, too. That too. If you look at most liquid supplements, you will not see. Uh, you know, here we got a, we've got we got plant-based calcium magnesium. Because of my belief that we are often consuming calcium, but it's not being Beans sent are, in the right place. Right, right. Um, you know, this is what concerns me. As you know, Sayer G on Green Med Info has been uh, researching and, and educating us that that a lot of women are overdosing on these what I call cheap tableted calciums. Yeah, yeah. They don't have the cofactors. They don't have the K2 in it. Um, they don't have enough vitamin D, so the calcium's just kind of floating around in the arteries. And one of the reasons that I, that I think we may be seeing more cardiovascular issues with women over 50 um, as a result of supplementing calcium, inappropriate calcium yeah. products and not having these cofactors. Folks, if you go to the TFNN site here, I'll take you through this. There's a little section called Breaking News, and here we have a new stretch, uh, which is called... Stretch the of the Day. Why don't you do that while day. we go away yeah, for Yeah, so our take break. a look at that. This is really something to help you uh, get your energy uh, nice. ready for the trading day. So, Paige, and I'll be right back. The number here is 877-927-6648. Please go to the uh, page to uh, look up the newsletters, too, and our Primal Edge, and uh, this will give you a nice boost to... Uh, be healthy. We'll See be you right after back. the break. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back.
back, folks. You know, straight out of the news is the Zika crisis uh, emanating from Brazil. But, of course, here in uh, Florida, we're feeling the effects of it probably in many of the states. And I found a couple of different articles have different takes on this. I've uh, I had my own little take on it until I read these articles. And, uh, yeah, here's some one. Uh, you know, the Zika outbreak epicenter is in the same area where the GM mosquitoes were released in 2015. Yes, mm. that's very interesting. Uh, yeah. And of course, uh, there was a thing that said that uh, the only thing that uh, stops this uh, uh, process. So, so the mosquitoes were made to go through a certain stage, but not uh, and reproduce with the females that are out there and then die, but the uh, female would be infertile. And this way they wanted to get rid of the population. So what happened is... Of mosquitoes. Of mosquitoes. Or maybe yeah. other things too. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Yeah. But uh, what happened is uh, there's... Uh, Tetracycline is one of the things that inhibits that virus from acting the right way. So they're thinking the now, antibiotic tetracycline. Yeah, the antibiotic, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, that was in a lot of chicken that they ate in years past in, right. in Brazil. And uh, so they're saying that uh, perhaps instead of 99% of all those mosquitoes dying, that a large population of this mosquito, maybe only three to five percent, lived and we're able to reproduce because the tetracycline was interfering. But also, we've had such a very, very wet season over there that there's much more higher populations of mosquitoes being born. So that skews the number up. So mm -hmm. this is one possibility. And yeah, I the article was... says a causal relationship <clears throat> between Zika virus infection and birth malformations and neurological syndromes is strongly suspected. It's rapidly changed the risk profile of Zika from a mild threat to one of alarming proportions. I, I don't know, uh, Nico, <clears throat> maybe when while we're, I'm talking for a minute, I don't know if a lot of people have seen the pictures of the head malformations that um, this particular um, Zika virus is, is presenting to. to um, it's a very unusual looking baby, you know, microencephaly. Is basically, the head is malformed. Uh, it almost looks as if the brain is, you know, half the size of these ch poor children. Maybe we find it later, but... Um, I got it someplace in here. You know, I just say when we are starting to play with the genes of any animal, any insect, you know, we're really playing roulette. Um, yeah. And you really question what is the reason that... Um, There's a picture of the mosquito right that, there. That they would do it. There you go. Scroll down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's the head. I don't here. know if Al can show that, but yeah, uh, yep. It. Yeah, so what we're seeing is just a whole malformation in the head. Um, so, you know, when we're examining a rapidly expanding potential pandemic, it's necessary to leave no stone unturned. So, possible solutions as well as future prevention. So, we'll have to see what comes. But, what are your thoughts, folks? Uh, yeah, you know, it seems like we, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for some pharmaceutical miracle vaccine to be announced all of a sudden <laughs> i mean i'm just waiting yeah i'm i'm anticipating mm -hmm. um but what we have to understand is is that why are we seeing these these devastating um you know epidemics um they seem to get str the truth gets stranger and stranger every year what we're mm -hmm. seeing going on in our environments and it seems to almost be t you know targeted in certain areas yeah. of the world you know right. there's another thing that uh, there were six anti mosquito sprays that were being used there and uh, these sprays were given out to 400,000 pregnant women uh, in Brazil and mm -hmm. these sprays are toxic and um, so this could be another attack there's various different things of course we have that uh, also the uh, inoculation Mm -hmm. We had that thing about why? There too. Yeah, why were they doing that? Because they felt that they were protecting the pregnant women from from the mosquitoes. Right. Mm -hmm. hmm. Right. So uh, yeah. there's a couple of different things, and I, of course we don't know yet what really caused it. We may never know. A lot of uh, conspiracy theories out there, but I just thought it was interesting to bring it up. And uh, this but is a devastating thing. But we do know that thing. oftentimes most conspiracies end up being proven true. A lot, so, a lot of times. So but keep your mind open and keep your eyes not. You know, keep your eyes open. I, I wanted to uh, kind of take this story back to our ancient ancestors in a way, because our ancient ancestors probably wouldn't let children with small heads live. Right. 
you know, this they would have a, seen it as a a sign that they didn't want to pass it on to the gene pool because and they, they were would, smart enough to know without science that yes. the gene pool was passed on through reproduction. Yeah, so they wanted to get rid of the de deformity by not allowing to live. Uh, Eskimos often put their children in the snow, which is probably a very humane. They get cold and they die, die naturally without pain. Mm -hmm. uh, but our uh, ancient ancestors were quite brutal about keeping the gene pool clean. Mm -hmm. So uh, the only thing uh, that they did let live were people who were kind of nuts and crazy because they felt they were special little spirit, spirited beings. But any deformity of any kind, they pretty much euthanized the child. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't have a problem with that. I think that's probably a good way to go in modern society because of the political ramifications of the other side. Uh, you wouldn't let that live. It is a life after all. And uh, I agree it is a life. But, uh, well, it's a tough area. But it's a tough thing, yeah. Uh, personally, I'd probably go the way of the ancient ancestors if, I was, if it was legal to do that. But, of course, in uh, any country in the world, I'm sure it's not. Uh, there may be some uh, that are, I don't know. But it, I just thought I'd throw that out there because I think that's an important uh, to realize our ancient ancestors did, did it differently than mm -hmm. we did. We don't keep those people alive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure it hurts. You know, uh, when you lose a child, no matter what the reason is, it's got to be a traumatic thing. So these people didn't do it just because they were crazy. They did it because they really had that belief. And uh, I think it's a very valid, valid belief myself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, that's uh, just another spin on that. I don't know if you have any thoughts about that yourself. Well, like I said, I'm really just concerned about what we're seeing, these ever-increasing um, outbreaks. And, and I, I am suspect mm -hmm. of... Um, you know, where this is all stemming from or what the maybe the basis for <clears throat> these epidemics might Oh, might just be. like AIDS and all, there's conspiracy for just about every kind of... Yeah, but uh, when you say that word conspiracy, most people have the connotation that it's negative. Right, I understand. And um, I think the word might be controversial. Mm -hmm. And then okay. lots of times when you open your eyes, you realize that even though someone's point of view of it might be controversial, mm -hmm you actually find out that the evidence really refutes it. For example, that book, the 9-11 Commission Report, yeah. um, that was created, I believe, to put to bed any con conspiracy theories. However, it has been so well, academically torn apart, yeah, sure. refuted, yeah. torn apart. Yeah. And anyone who does some research would understand that it's really a, a, a disinformation source and that really what actually happened is, is much different than that official story. Yeah, I, I think you're right there. And I think we have to look at all of these things with, um, you know, having your eyes wide open yeah. and looking at some of these sources that you might feel, you know, I've had a lot of people say, well, if Paige, if what you're saying is true, then it would have been on Fox News, <laughs> you know, or it would have been on ABC and it would have been mainstream yeah. and how can I entertain that? Well, I think we have to you know, entertain that yeah. there, there may be a different story. I, my, one of my I don't know. Clients, what do you guys think? I had one of my clients yesterday says, you know, I don't listen to CNN and all that stuff. I go to the BBC. I said, yeah, I've been listening to the Al Jazeera uh, America. Such an amazingly is, different point of view. It's a completely different spin on things, and it's not so much a spin, which is what I kind of like. So. Yeah, what do you guys get your news other than TFNN.com? Of the course, place, this I'm is thinking. the place here yes, for, for sure. you know, stay healthy and wealthy. We'll, we'll be right back, folks. The number here is 877-927-6648. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. And welcome back. I'm Paige Clark, and I'm with Nico DeHaan, and we're living a primal lifestyle, and we want to help you do the same. Yes. You know, what we were just talking about on the break is, um, you know, kind of, you know, living authentic with what we're spouting here, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, we've, we've shared with you all a lot of the research that shows that standing at your desk uh, can be equivalent to um, over, you know, a year's time, the course of doing a marathon, huh. just simply by standing in terms of the cardiovascular benefits. I know mm -hmm. that sounds crazy, but, you know, we, we shared that. Yeah. And we were talking about maybe changing our studio so that we're actually standing when we're doing the show. Yeah, that'd be fun, I um, think. Yeah, we had to talk to Tom about yeah. it. But I found this mat. Uh, this is called a topo, T-O-P-O. -O. topo mat. Yeah, and it's a mat. Yeah, I've got it on the telestrator here, and you can, let's see, I've got, yeah, a little action going here. So you can do different things. Uh, you can even do it in bare feet, which I think would be even cooler. Uh, this guy designed it, and uh, kind of cool. To simulate acupuncture points, see what he's yeah. doing. With that I, I yeah, haven't seen it yet. Stretching, he's doing all kinds mm -hmm. of different stretching things. Stretching the muscles yeah. in the feet, and, and also all those little uh, trigger points. Well, what are... you've got is you've got your acupuncture meridians, mm -hmm. and kidney one, mm -hmm. which is the Jing life force of all of us, is okay. right at the, you know, right at you know at the palm of your foot, right mm -hmm. in the center of your foot. Okay. So I mean, I'm sure what we're going to find out is he, he talks about stimulating these points. Yeah, there's a whole thing on here, and I'll put this in our uh, next uh, newsletter. But you know, uh, when we sit at cool our desks idea. for six, eight hours, I like that. I mean, this is the the new worker, yeah. guys. This is what the new trader is going to look like. Yeah, and a lot of companies too are making these desks real easy to put up and down, so you can actually go into a seating position. Sure. Because I've, uh, there's a lot of different kinds of uh, seats out there now. Right. I don't have or them up on the ball. here. Or even the ball. Or the ball, or even the kneeling chair. Right, the, That comes from Finland, I believe, or mm -hmm. uh, Scandinavia anyway, uh, maybe Sweden. But the functional workplace, folks, is something that, you know, you might want to take um, a hard look at and see yeah. um, see what you might see. You know, if you, you know, the, here's some science that confirms the issue um, you know, with flat and uh, is that blood pooling in the calves causes swelling, poor circulation, increased risk of deep vein thrombosis. Yeah, You've always heard about getting up when you're on a plane. Yeah, and movement is the body's antidote, and that's so true because our ancient ancestors always moved to following the animals and the seasons, mm -hmm. and if you weren't catching up, then you'd be one left behind. Right, movement actually specifically engages the anti-gravity skeletal muscle pump. 
Yeah. And um, but the conventional flat anti-fatigue mats do not generate enough movement to address this. So the little things that you put in your kitchen that make your feet feel a lot better than just standing on. Uh, yeah, the, the topo the beats flat. The calculated terrain drives you to move more and stand healthier. And this is true in uh, nature. You know, when you're exercising in nature with all the different terrain, if you're going through the woods and that type of thing, you have much more of an opportunity to uh, get the natural rhythm of your body back by uh, that changing terrain and. Uh, who knows, as you're going along, you might hang from a branch and climb a tree and do the kind of things that we always did as uh, a primal people, but we did as a kid, too. And uh, there's quite a few videos on this uh, one site that I'm looking at, which is called Nat Move. Uh, nature move oh, right. uh, and uh, you know this shows the guys different techniques of how you climb and what you should do uh, that boosts your survival mode because if you if you're stuck someplace and you can't climb out or you can't climb up or you can't escape or you can't hide that's a problem that is a problem and how many of us are really able to do those kind of moves in today's civilized world. No, because we're constrained. We're constrained not only uh, in uh, the activities that we do, but in the clothes that we wear. We, you know, our feet are made barefoot mm -hmm. for a reason, and there's a lot of flexion and And nuances. stimulation of all those acupuncture exactly. meridians where our life force runs. Right, and we're covering them up. Right. So, uh, With synthetic souls. Yeah, and uh, you know, you don't get a cold from being going barefoot, no matter how cold it is out there. Uh, I was listening to a podcast last night. I was as I was taking my sauna, and uh, it was about the Ice Man. Uh, this guy, I think he's from Austria, maybe even. Oh yeah, no, he's uh, he actually came to our Qigong group. And oh, he, did he? Yeah, he just, amazing. He, he does amazing tomo guy. breathing. Yes, he has this breathing, breathing, which technique. I'm, I'm going to start this. Uh, I, I I've looked at his videos and that. Uh -huh. Very interesting guy, and I'll uh, get, dig up some more information uh, in it. But there's a certain breathing type that he does in succession, maybe 30 or 40 times, and then there's a secondary one that gets you more into the zone. And what he was talking about last night was very interesting because he says when we get now, he immerses himself in the real cold situations. Like a complete tub of ice. He's also ran a marathon in the Sahara Desert without water. Mm -hmm. So he's putting mind over matter. And he, his saying that is when you get in this state, there is no thought. You get into your primal mind is what he calls it because you're so busy breathing to counteract what you're feeling in the environment that you go back to your primitive mind, which means no thought, means the clarity that we have. That's where the love is. That's where your direct connection with God or the environment is. Oh, I just get goosebumps because you're so right. And, uh, you know, my Qigong teacher, Jeff Primax, mm -hmm. you know, teaches us when we're exercising to say, even though your heart is beating fast, you are breathing slow mm, and it's like about that. focusing on the breath yeah. the breath is the life force it's really the ether mm -hmm. your breath is you bringing in the substance of creation yeah and uh, it's an important thing to note that uh, of course by these types of breathing that we do that uh, all our ancient ancestors did naturally uh, it's kind of like... Or as uh, part of a group. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, w going for a walk with a purpose and in looking to find something, which our ancient ancestors didn't go for a walk. Which, just by the way, yes. your talk... Oh, oh, so, what, so we did, um, uh, you know, I do these healthy happy hour seminars. We do, you know, we do these talks. I do it as part of my business, and Nico and I do them together. Um, and he just redid the whole uh, lecture series on the problem with modern food, mm -hmm. and it was fantastic. Oh, well, thank you very and much. we really ran through the new slideshow. This way we can use this if we're, you know, if you have a group and you want us to come speak, let us know. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it was a great talk, and I loved what you said, that walk with a purpose. You know, purpose, you know, you know, it was like when your dad would tell you, hey, let's go see if we can go find something in the woods. Yeah. Or, or let's go, you know, your mom would say, let's go pick some wildflowers mm -hmm. for the table. Yeah. That was... Or go find some blueberries up north in Sudbury. Like right, did. exactly. Yeah. And yeah. my dad always insisted when we go for a walk, we do something. Uh, and looking for snakes, looking for mushrooms, uh, finding different color leaves in the fall, that type of thing. There was always a reason that my dad wanted to go for a walk, not just for a walk's sake. And we think it's so great just going lounging around for uh, uh, going for a walk. With earbuds really in our head and our cell exactly. phone in and, our hands. And disconnected from the environment. So I suggest that walking with a purpose and an intent and going there to look for something is a completely different mindset. It puts you in a different state of mind and it puts you in touch with the environment a lot more. And I think the benefits are just huge for that. Yeah, that's fantastic. You know, yeah. just um, so let me kind of just say something I was yeah. also reflecting on the week, you know, mm -hmm. the great talk that was yeah. Tuesday night. And then, as you know, I was at the Physicians Roundtable Conference in yes. Tampa. Uh, some of the 
practitioners that are part of my organization, Sacred Medical Order of Knights of Hope. We just had phenomenal uh, speakers, researchers, so you know, good. whistleblowers, uh, you know, people that have just phenomenal resources for healing. So um, I'm hoping maybe we can talk about it. I want to I share a, a, a natural cancer center because I think one okay. of the problems is people don't realize they exist. And we had, um, you know, one great center was called, it's called Hope for Cancer. Yeah. And I met Dr. Jimenez and his beautiful wife, Marcy, and they have a beautiful healing center. Okay, well, I, let's talk about that after the break yeah. because I have some things to say about that too because uh, th these are important things. And if I had, was discovered that I had cancer, I'm not doing it in this country. I'd probably go to another country, and there's reasons why. Right. Yeah. Well, a little bit of uh, choice. Yeah, and exactly. maybe, you know, you know, the free and the brave is not the place where you have the most choice if, if you have a condition like this. And what we want to do is we're sharing that true health is empowering you to make choices. And yeah, that's what we're, we're here the right to do. Choice for sure. So the number here is 877-927-6648. Paige and I will be back shortly. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices, located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Join John Logan as he teaches you trading techniques utilizing the TAS profile scanner, the global market pulse. Next on TFNN, he explains. And welcome back. So I was just sharing a little bit with um, you know that uh, there is a beacon of hope for health restoration and healing, and that's what we're all about is sharing that information. And I was just truly inspired uh, this last weekend. At this meeting that I got to meet, um, got on the telestrator here. Mm -hmm. Hope, Hope for, for Cancer Institute. Institute, Dr. Tony Jimenez, just a beautiful human being, totally uh, just a, a, a beautiful soul that's doing cutting edge 
uh, treatments to help people help themselves recover from cancer and many other chronic diseases. <clears throat> His beautiful wife, uh, Marcia, we, we really hit it off, and she was sharing with me her visions mm -hmm. for their new one of their new centers in Cancun. So we hope we can maybe yeah. you know get a part of groups like this. But so I really want you to visit their site if you know anyone. Um, you know the Center Hope for Cancer. Yeah. So this uh, is uh, tying into the suppression of natural cancer cure. Which yeah. We were Ty Bollinger about. has been uh, had a movement in the internet that's uh, the Truth About Cancer dot com. Again, a resource for people. Uh, you know, the cures for cancer have um, have been. We're, we're not waiting for one. We just need to be allowed to see one. Yeah. And and there are multiple ways because we know it's not any certain thing that cures cancer. It's you heal yourself. Yeah. With the Creator and your choices. Yeah. He explains in his book that you don't need to. Well, die. this is this is not uh, Ty Bollinger, but we're talking. Let me just introduce oh, this, that. And, this um, is a Harry uh, Hoxley. Yeah. The suppression of a nat natural cancer cure. I just thought since this article came up, we might you know, overview that. Yeah. But, um, you know, just three miles south of the U.S. border in Tijuana is a clinic that's been around the Biomedical Center, which originally began in Dallas. Um, it's based on the remedy, uh, you know, offered very successfully to people who are suffering from cancer and other diseases of Harry Huxley. You might find it very interesting to do your research on Harry Huxley. He had a rather what? flamboyant battle with the FDA, or excuse me, with the AMA, mm -hmm. primarily, the American Medical Association. He was born in 1901, so this was happening in the 30s ago, and yeah. so forth. But um, his, you know, his remedy uh, was rather simple. Maybe you can share that well, point. Well, he explains in his book, You Don't Need to Die, that his great-grandfather uh, observed his favorite horse recovering from cancer by eating certain flowers and leaves. Hey, they, listen to that. That's just what we were saying last yeah. week. You know, we were talking about people spraying their yards right, to kill all the these weeds. And, yeah. But what he observed was that the horses recovered from cancer various diseases because they ate flowers and weeds. Yeah, so he has this different this formula here that he uses that... Uh, yeah, the Harry Hoxley formula uh, is something that, um, you know, was just, um, you it's know, mostly used... mostly roots. Yeah. Mostly roots. Yep, it's a which, lot of the roots and uh, barks of uh, certain trees. And, um, you know, it's rather interesting that um, he had this continuous battle where he literally judges um, in, you know, we're, we're just People shocked. Yeah, you know, the yeah. judges were shocked that the that the um, that the American Medical Association just kept persecuting him. Yeah. Finally, they moved to Tijuana and they've continued to help people. But um, maybe this might be a good article, you know, just to kind of remind people. I'm putting this in the this and many other sure. cures yeah. are offered at these wonderful healing centers where they offer things that are not allowed here, um, not because they're not safe, not because they're not effective, but because they interfere with the cancer industry in this country. They interfere with uh, what uh, they're trying to uh, sell us. Right. Yeah. And you know, and again, don't have much choices, you know, you, you should always <clears throat> put together a team which might include conventionally trained medical doctors, oncologists, etc. But it should, cer should certainly include other people that have had success yep. in helping to reverse these situations, I believe. And that's pretty much the show. You know, uh, folks, please pick up some Primal Edge. I think if you uh, try the Primal Edge supplement, it's a daily supplement that you just need to take uh, once a day, and uh, it's uh, involved in de detoxing the body. Nutrition. And cell-ready nutrition. And cell-ready even helps you lose weight. Tastes great. Works like wonder. It's a, it's a magic, magic formula for sure. And for those of you that are on with TFNN.com, you were able to use Tiger Dollars thanks to our leader, Tom's that's for uh, sure. generous offer. So. Thanks a lot for sticking around, folks. Folks, uh, we'll see you next week, and uh, just be safe and be healthy. Absolutely. See you next time. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. 
Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.